hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video we're going to be talking about this nigerian movie called omotoke omotoke is about this girl who <laughs> omotoke stings literally that's just the right word to put it so omotoke is about this girl who stings and this dr daffy who is a very nonchalant man to his girlfriend he doesn't stay with her like she's literally the bottom one is this anyways one thing led to another shower she left him then <clears throat> dr daffy also loses his job due to some you know arrangements that was just nonsense nonsense arrangements that did not work out well anyways he goes to the village where his friend hooked him up with and then to get a job actually and then that's where he meets toke who smells toke really smells like rotten fish and toke was played by sandra okunzua while dr Daffy was played by uzu Arukwe. then uh, this guy mm ufort played the role of fred who was toke's love interest who loved toke um anyways <clears throat> Dr. Daffy met with Toke and, you know, started to help out with a condition. But Dr. Daffy also has a, a condition called anosmia because he doesn't smell what Toke is smelling like. So he was actually surprised as why Toke was staying back from him and why everybody was running away from her. He actually, first of all, thought it was him that they were moving away from him. He didn't know that it was her. Anyways, that's how the story begins. So, like I said before, this movie stars Uzo Arukwe, Sandra Okuzua, M.M. Ufot, amongst other people that were in this movie. Basically, for the storyline of this movie, I honestly think the storyline was, you know, quite a unique one. Because I don't think I've seen a storyline like it before. But the progression of the movie is what I'm not convinced about. So, basically, like I said before, Motoke stings and everybody in the village runs away from Omotoke because she smells like rotten fish. And then it was until Dr. Daffy came. And then Dr. Daffy now told her that she has a condition called trimatopo, something something that I cannot even pronounce. And for me, I felt like that was a learning curve because that was the first time I was hearing about that condition. I had never heard of that condition ever in my life until when I saw this movie. But then I was concerned about some things because after Dr. Daffy started helping Toke find a solution to her problem, there's some things that he was prescribing that she should not eat. And I'm like, these things are good for the body. How come these are the things that she shouldn't eat? Though I, I don't know about the condition and I have not done my research. But I just, I don't know. Because they're like, if you stink, the condition is where your body produces a certain kind of chemical. And the chemical makes you stink. So while you're stinking that way, you should not eat your things to avoid. Like egg, fish, you know, protein. I'm like, these are proteinous food. Anyways, one of the best things for me in this movie was that I was able to learn. Really, there isn't so much to this movie. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This movie was not the most interesting one. I expected so much more from this movie because, I mean, it has Sandra. It has Uzo. I was expecting a lot more. And then for Dr. Daffy, Dr. Daffy has a problem. I feel like he had ego. Aside from the fact that he was a workaholic, I think he had ego. And then I also had a problem with uh, Omotoke's best friend. For me, even though my friend is smelling, my friend stinks. I know that she's not happy about this condition. She knows that she smells. She knows that she stinks. But why do you have to rub it in her face? The friend was always acting like one nonsense human being. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Even when Tokyo was trying to be happy, like, okay, well, I met somebody that likes me, that talks me. She was busy telling her that, oh, are you sure? Like, I know you're trying to be realistic, but I feel like you'll be able to console your 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 friend. She's your friend and she needs that that love and that support for the condition that she's going through. So like I said before, they tried, the delivery was okay for this movie, but I was not really so convinced about the acting or the way the movie progressed. And then the part where Dr. Daffy was like, he liked Amotoke, I'm like, from where to where? No, be now, now. Like, how do you suddenly like her? And then another problem I had with this movie, I know probably I'm just modeling everything up, but, you know, I'm just saying this thing the way it comes to my head. And I'm sure you people are seeing that today. I'm not showing my face because, <laughs> well, that's how, that's the way this one is going to be, Sha. Anyway, so like I was saying before, one of the things that I had issues with was the fact that this movie is supposed to be like a Yoruba setting movie. This girl's name is Omotoke. And then literally everybody in the movie doesn't even know how to pronounce Omotoke. They either say Omotoke, Omotoke. I'm like, what is going on with you guys? Like how even Omotoke herself doesn't know how to pronounce her own name. Isn't that weird? The only person that knows how to pronounce the name is this guy, Fred. Fred is the only person that knows how to pronounce Omotoke's name. And that's the one that is a love interest. And okay, Uzaru Ketu could also pronounce Omotoke. But every other person literally did not know how to pronounce the name. Like, that is a, that is a major slap on the face. Like, this movie is supposed to be a kind of a Yoruba setting movie. And then you guys do not know how to pronounce the name. I It was just really somehow for me. So, that was just a... <sighs> A really somehow part but regardless i think the storyline was okay it was fresh and i like the fact that you know he, t he taught us something some people have this condition and they do not know and i learned the name of this condition from this movie as well myself so 
I think it was a learning curve and I was able to, you know, grab some things. So and I'm still going to do more research about what this condition is about, Sha. Overall, I'm just really going to rate this movie like <laughs> I'm not even gonna to lie to you guys. I'm going to give this movie a six over ten. This is, I think this is the least I've given a movie that has Uzo Aruki and has Sandra Kuzwa because this movie was just, I don't know if it's just me that felt this way, but I did not enjoy this movie, to be honest. I only liked the fact that it talked about a certain condition that people have, but a lot of people are not aware of it. Or they are aware, but they don't know what it is. They just feel like they smell and everybody's running away from them. And, you know, do you get? And also in that village, or another thing I did not say, they had been lacking a doctor, or doctor that he came, and you know they didn't want him to go. That's not even. That's also. That's really by the way, actually. But if you want to see the movie, you can go ahead and see it. But for me, I'm not really convinced about the movie. Like I did not really enjoy. It. I like I said, I only enjoyed the fact that it was a fresh storyline and it had something new, something that. A lot of people do not know. We don't know this condition called tripalomato, whatever, whatever. And then there was this very annoying, not so unprofessional. I don't know if that not was supposed to be funny, but she was really annoying. That lady was annoying to me in the movie. The people that annoyed me in this movie, the best friend, uh, Tuke's best friend, I think Shola was her name. Um, <clears throat> the nurse, one of the nurses, Nurse Deborah was her name, Nurse Debbie. <clears throat> she was really, actually very saucy and annoying. But that's it, guys. I what else I want to talk about this movie? I think they, they they tried. The problem is not about the actors. I think the actors did their best. They tried, though. I just feel like the story, the writing was not really so. Uh, she wasn't so. You know what I'm saying. But that's it, guys. That's about that for this movie. Like I said before, I'm gonna give it a seven, six over ten. So you guys, if you really want to watch it, you could proceed to watch it, and I'm definitely going to come at you with more reviews very very soon, guys. So keep a tab on this channel, keep on watching on this space and, you know, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm definitely going to see you next time, guys. Thank you so much. Let's just say it's my own little way of saying I'm sorry for living without saying goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. So, can I tell you what it is you have to be doing for the rest of your life? Yeah.